Beyonce and Jay-Z can both be described as nothing short of icons as they are the musical power couple in the industry. Their musical contributions, both together and apart, have solidified their legendary status. And while we know all there is to know about their music, their private life continues to take a back seat to the public eye. And with good reason, we might add, because we all know what letting the public eye into your life looks like. But even still curious minds must inquire into the Carter's life. So come with us as we do a deep dive into Beyonce and Jay-Z's love story. The young icons in the making. So let's take it back to the 99 and the 2000s. The soon-to-be legend, but a current household name in Destiny's Child, Beyonce. At this time, Beyonce was riding the wave as Destiny's Child songs stay hot on the charts after the release of The Writings on the Wall. With hits like Bills, 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 and Say My Name, and the follow-up of their second studio album, Survivor, that was certified eight times platinum. The third album of Destiny's Child became another instant success and made them famous worldwide. With the title track becoming one of the most recognizable songs of the 2000s, Survivor. It was around this time that Beyonce's skills as a singer and band leader started to get noticed. Jay-Z, on the other hand, a successful solo artist, is coming off the success of his album, Volume 2, Hard Knock Life, which won a Grammy and was certified five times platinum in the U.S. in 1998, further solidifying his status with his first chart topper on the Billboard Hot 100, Volume 3, Life and Times of S. Carter. It was clear that Jay-Z had established himself throughout the music industry, and it was also at this time that he was moving to further expand himself and get into other business ventures. They wasn't compensating me for it at all. So I was like, maybe I could just start my own thing, start my own clothing line, make it the right fit. Their faded meeting. Jay-Z and Beyonce first met when Beyonce was just 18 at the time, and they had just both performed at MTV's Spring Break Festival in Cancun, Mexico. Jay-Z spoke lovingly about their first encounter in their song 713 on the album The Carters, and explained that it would be two years till they saw each other again. In that in-between time, they did keep in touch, stating they were friends for a year and a half before they went on any dates. She told Oprah, On the phone for a year and a half, and that foundation is so important in a relationship. And just to, to have someone that you just like, you know, mm -hmm. is so important and someone that is honest. And from there, in 2001, Beyonce and Jay-Z would appear together on the cover of Vanity Fair, where Jay would state, we were just beginning to try to date each other at the time, adding, well, you know, you've got to try first. You got to dazzle, wine and dine. And that he had his work cut out for him pursuing her. She's a charming Southern girl, you know. She's not impressed. But I would have definitely had to be this cool. Then in 2002, they dropped 03 Bonnie and Clyde featuring Beyonce, which fueled speculations around their relationship even further. Let's get right into it. How did the two of the biggest names in music even meet? Well, we met a long time ago. Award shows, a lot of different performances. And at what point did the conversation come, hey, do you want to do some music? You know how people, you know, you, you, uh, you, know, you see each other and you respect each other's music. You know, it's always that conversation, yo, we gotta do something, you know that. Right. Oh, you know, yeah. the time filler. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When that time filler turns <laughs> into something real, then it's, it's music, it's history. Beyonce at this time had starred in a couple of films and released her first solo album, Dangerously In Love, which went on to sell 11 million copies worldwide and established her as one of the most prominent R&B artists of the 21st century. Now her relationship with Jay-Z and his involvement in the album's production became the object of speculation that further amplified the success of her debut album. Crazy in Love music video featuring Jay-Z solidified their power couple status to the world, especially after winning a Grammy for the collaboration. Beyonce and Jay-Z go on throughout the beginnings of their relationship, keeping out of the public eye. However, they did occasionally get seen together and of course continue to make music together putting out hits like deja vu upgrade you and hollywood uh, uh just from the reaction i'm getting from the public about jay-z and beyonce 
let's say a thousand people lived in the project. If you got a thousand people like in your business, it's mm -hmm. gonna put a strain on your relationship that you would never ever believe. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't put 80 million people into that. So I don't know, like I'm, I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no, I'm saying um, listen to the record. Listen Maybe the it's record. entertainment. Maybe it's not. It'd be fair to say that you guys are close friends. Yeah. Would it be fair to say that y'all been... See, there you go. Wait, 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 wait. Follow him. And this brings us all the way to April 4th, 2008. Married life of Jay and B. Jay-Z and Beyonce got married in secret on April 4th in a very intimate ceremony. It was a very emotional wedding, lots of crying, and really very spiritual. Jay-Z confirmed his marriage to Beyonce later that year and opens up about why he didn't feel the need to let the public know that information saying that that's ridiculous for me to confirm. I just think it's really a part of your life and that you got to keep to yourself. You have to, or you'll go insane in this type of business. And that is exactly what they did going forward. After this, we really didn't hear too much from the Carters until 2011, when rumors of Beyonce having a baby were going around. And then she later confirmed that she was pregnant at the VMAs. <laughs> Then in January 2012, Beyonce and Jay-Z welcomed their first child together, Blue Ivy Carter. And things again get quiet about the Carters until February 2013, when Beyonce and Jay-Z share intimate details about their life in Life Is But A Dream documentary. The documentary gave a glimpse into the private life of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce pulled from her personal archives to share her pregnancy, her showing never before seen wedding footage, even enjoying a secluded exotic vacation together and sharing a toast with him at his birthday party. Right after we got this doc, she opened up again when she dropped an impromptu epic self-titled visual album in December 2013. I will make my best art and just put it out. And that's, that's why it's out today. It's safe to say that album, she talked in depth about her relationship. And in true J and B fashion, they even dropped the Drunk in Love song and visual, in addition to him making a cameo in her music video, Partition. Beyonce's self-titled album definitely talked sex at every turn, but it treats a power-balanced marriage as a place where sexuality thrives. With the album, she basically presented the idea that a woman's prime, personal, professional, and especially sexual, can occur within a stable, romantic partnership. Monogamy never sounded more seductive, that is, until May 5th, 2014. Changing of the tides through the wire. On May 5th, 2014, the world was shocked by what unfolded between Jay-Z, Beyonce, and her sister Solange at the annual Met Gala after party in New York City. Video footage of Solange attacking Jay-Z in an elevator spread like wildfire across news outlets and socials. None of the parties involved have ever spoken out about what caused the altercation, but tabloids reported that Solange was upset with Jay over alleged cheating rumors. Days after the incident, they released a group statement as follows. There has been a great deal of speculation about what triggered the unfortunate incident, but the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. The reports of Solange being intoxicated or displaying erratic behavior throughout that evening are simply false. At the end of the day, families have problems and we're no different. We love each other and above all, we are family. We've put this behind us and hope everyone else will do the same. Solange briefly addressed the incident in an interview months after in August 2014, in which she referred to the incident as that thing and went on to say, what's important is that my family and I are all good. What we had to say collectively was in the statement that we put out and we all feel at peace with that. With this incident in the balance, Beyonce and Jay-Z go full speed ahead into the launch of the On The Run tour that kicked off in Miami on June 25th. The On The Run tour was, of course, a hit, but in the midst of the ongoing success of the tour, there were rumors about a Beyonce and Jay-Z split. 
and that their marriage was heading toward divorce, but the couple seemingly dispelled those rumors by still making various appearances together. From Beyonce's video Vanguard Award to Solange's wedding to Alan Ferguson and back to the Met Gala a year later. Then 2016 hit and Beyonce shakes us to our core with her new album Lemonade and HBO special addressing her marriage with Jay-Z. In this album, she released songs like Hold Up, Don't Hurt Yourself, and Sorry, which hint at infidelity and a marriage in crisis. During the time of the album dropping, there were still rumors going around that her marriage to Jay-Z was on the rocks, despite him being there at the kickoff of the Formation Tour. Plus, he was nowhere to be found at the 2016 Met Gala where Beyonce attended alone. The pair did, however, shut down all the rumors of an impending split when Jay took the stage at the final show of the Formation World Tour. What a whirlwind romance in the literal sense. Reconciliation. This brings us to 2017 when Beyonce announces that she is pregnant and they welcome twins Rumi and Sir in mid-June. Later that month, Jay-Z drops his 13th studio album, 444. In the album, Jay addresses his relationship with Beyonce, confirming his infidelities, apologizes for womanizing, says his daughter and newborn twins changed his perspective, mentions a series of miscarriages, and confesses to underserving the relationship. The song that was most notable in addressing this was 444. As if both the albums weren't enough to confirm, he explains why he cheated and reveals how they got their marriage back on track. Right. You know, most people walk away and like divorce rate is like 50% or something because most people can't see themselves. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you cause and then have to deal with yourself. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, most people don't want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to look inside yourself. Yeah. And so you walk away. And this brings us to solidifying their united front. B and J are back now and stronger than ever. And on March 12, 2018, they announced the On The Run Tour 2. The Beehive was sent into a frenzy as Beyonce and Jay-Z announced a joint summer tour, the long-awaited sequel to their blockbuster 2014 On The Run Tour. They took to the stage together for a two-hour set and performed 37 tracks, giving fans a glimpse into their private world. In the show, they hint that they recently renewed their vows. In a video taken at the tour opener, both musicians could be seen on a screen in all-white attire joined by Blue Ivy and the twins, Rumi and Sir, for what appeared to be a vow renewal ceremony. The message, this is real love, is projected during the film at the concert as the power couple sings their 2009 duet, Young Forever. You would think that this was it, right? The end, as if this elusive couple had not already given the public enough the pair released a collaborative album called Everything Is Love, which was a nine-track LP, which lists the powerhouse couple simply as The Carters. The Everything Is Love LP served to solidify their front as a testament to how a complicated love survived through self-reflection, compromise, and ruthless honesty. Fast forwarding to now, Beyonce and Jay-Z are still going strong, and it looks as if there is nothing to stop this power couple going forward. They have since done a campaign for Tiffany & Co. In About Love advertisements featuring Beyonce and Jay-Z in a Breakfast at Tiffany's inspired short film. There was also another short film titled Date Night that shows the couple enjoying pizza and champagne while seated in the back of a Rolls Royce with a quick cameo by the couple's oldest daughter, Blue Ivy Carter. Wow, time flies. As for the couple, since the lapse they had in their marriage, there has been nothing to report other than the Carters just really living their life. And if there's one thing we know for sure, we can count on the Carters to come through again with more entertainment in the future. 20 years. 20 years. Yeah, 20 years next year.